All right, so as you can see, we have got two new Halloween-like quest lines here. So Night Hair is one and Raven is the other. So we're gonna do Night Hair in this video. It says, talk to Night Hair and complete the Hop Awake quest line. So Night Hair is located just to the right of Craggy Cliffs. Let's see how easy or difficult his challenges are. We'll complete them all in this video. I should wear night hair. All right, let's go talk to this bunny. See what he's got to say. So he's located just in front of this IO base. This, of course, is the radio tower. Oh, I didn't know there was another building right there. Interesting. It looks like he spawns directly outside. Oh, there's a special chest in here. Let's grab this first before we talk to him. Holy chest, there's like a hundred chests in here. All right, so here he is. He says, happy to see you. And you can activate a rift with him. Here's his quest, stage one, bounce three times on tires without touching the ground. Really? It's pretty easy. Bounce three times on tires without touching the ground. So just drive off this edge. Oh, there's wolves right there. Right down to this gas station. And I'm pretty sure there's tires down here. Yeah, right there. All right, so we gotta bounce on these three times without hitting the ground. One, two, three. Uh, bounce three times on tires without touching the ground. Did that not count? One, two, two, three. Oh, there it goes. Not sure why it didn't work the first time. Use an alien jump pad at an alien crash site. Whoa! Someone shoot me. Are you kidding me? Hey! Who's got the better shot here, huh? Me or you? Me! Keep the change, you filthy animal. I can't believe I just stood there head to head and duked that guy out. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing ever, but I got him. Alright, so again, stage two is use an alien jump pad at an alien crash site. So, what is a jump pad? Is that one of those big squares? I think it's right there, one of those things. Let's see. Let's see if this gives us credit. Here we go. Yep, that's my game froze. Stage three says travel in an alien slipstream for a hundred meters. Well, that's easy. Man, that guy's got some moves right there. Let's see if we can go get that guy. No, we'll just travel for our 100 meters real quick. Oh, that was easy. Can you shoot in here? Stage four. Damage an opponent with a grenade. Uh, okay. All right, so we tried NPCs, we tried animals, but I have a feeling IO guards will count. So let's find some grenades. We'll go to one of the IO guard places and we'll hit them with grenades and see if that works. It should work. I swear I've done challenges with them in the past and it counted as if they were real people. So there's one right over here to the left of Misty. But, I gotta find grenades first, and hopefully nobody else lands there and takes out the guards. Which it looks like we've got at least two people landing over here. Okay, so the IO guards are definitely here. Just need to find some grenades. Let's go down here, see if we can find some, and we'll come right back. Find grenades all the time, but when you're actually looking for them, you can't find squat. Come on. Let's hit me with their aimbot. 
Just give me a grenade, please. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Yes, grenades. Yes. No, where's this guy going? Don't be stealing my kills up here. Oh, there's a llama right there, too. All right, we'll come back for that. Please still be here. Please. Yes. Here we go. Come on, walk into it. Come on, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes! Did it work? Yes! It did! Thankfully, it worked. Oh, and I just wasted that. The next challenge is... An explosive in the sideways, are you kidding me? Alright, so again it says get an explosive elimination on a cube monster in the sideways. So once again, we need more grenades. Are you kidding me? I would never have wasted that last grenade had I known we needed them for stage 5. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, speak of the devil, right there. 14 seconds. We're so close. Come on. Get me up and over. Oh, eight seconds. We're so close. There's still gunfire over here. That's not good. But I just need to bibbity bop one cube monster. That's it. Here we go. Oh, get me down. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, we did it. Let's go! So there you go. All the challenges for Mr. Nighthair. There's a really good player in this lobby. Oh, he's one of these guys. But which one is the good one? Yes, that guy that just got the limb. He's the good guy. If I got third party. Oh, it's gonna be a 1v1 in a minute. The really good guy's down there. Wait, where did he go? If they're both down there, that spells good news for me. Are they both down there? I guess we'll see in a second. Yes, they're both down here. Okay, here we go. Can we third party a win? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, I'm getting annoying, aren't I? Gotta get a little closer. Yep, that's the guy. Like that? Ah! 
Let's go! Get wrecked, bro! That's what I'm talking about! That guy probably had like 15 kills. Like that? Let's go into the replay. Just real quick, because that guy almost killed me earlier and I ran. I knew how good he was. Well, he definitely was the better player. I had one kill, but again, I was doing this challenge and he had 10. I saw him in the kill feed, I encountered him earlier, and I outsmarted him and hid just to finish my quest. And there he is. So he was trying to heal up. He goes for the swing and a miss. And that was the fatal mistake. Look at that scorpion get over here grab. But he missed. And when you miss with that, you're caught in such a vulnerable state that boom goes the dynamite. What a way to end the match. So there you go. That's how you complete all of the creepy bunny challenges. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaberTime.